Hi guys, welcome to YT Andy. Metro Manila is a big city with nearly 20 million population. It has many small downtowns, but the three major ones are Makati, BGC, and where we are right now, Ortigas Center. Ortigas Center is a major business district, and there are enough options to live, work, and play. Let's have a look. Emerald Avenue is closed for cars on Saturday and Sunday and this becomes like a carless zone where you can cycle, jog or chill out. It's not so crowded today, perhaps because Manila has a long weekend due to All Souls Day. But usually this is a, a good place to come and uh, relax. It's recommended if you're in Nautica Center. This is Emerald Avenue on a Sunday afternoon. So there are a lot of offices and residential condominiums here. One of the nicest and one of my most favorite spots in Metro Manila is the poolside bar at Etza Shangri-La. This place is very chilled out. The best part is when you're in this bar or this spot, you feel like you're actually in a resort. It feels like you're on a beach bar or something like that. But the reality is you're actually surrounded by the full bustling central business district. This is a highly recommended spot. There is also a small walking trail here. If you like the trees and the green, you can find some respite in the busy city. This is the pool bar at Etsa Shangri-La, Ortigas Center. Ortigas Center is a large business district and it has four or five main avenues. One of them is San Miguel Avenue, which is the one that I'm showing to you right now. It derives its name from the famous San Mc beer, which is brewed in the Philippines. This avenue of Ortega Center is called as ADB Avenue, which derives its name from Asian Development Bank, which has got the headquarter here. So this is another thriving part of the CBD. We are heading to the Podium Mall, which has gained a reputation for being a hotspot for fine dining and it offers a lot of restaurants choices to pick from. Corner Market is a fancy food court with even nicer views. From this food court, you can actually see a good part of the Ortega Center. Oh, mind you, this is not the complete Ortega Center. This is uh, a section of it. Greenfield District is a mixed-use real estate development in Ortega Center. This place has revived again after a brief lull during the COVID period. And there are good reasons for it. Greenfield District has a very cozy and easy-going 
neighborhood rights. This could be also another option where you can actually live, buy or rent a condominium. It's super chill. And there are many more residential blocks just next to the Greenfield district. It's quite an upcoming district, I would say. One of the very interesting things to do in Ortega Center and Greenfield District is to come to this food truck spot. This is actually a parking lot which has been permanently converted into you know, spot for food trucks. And there are quite a few choices. There are about 20, 25 trucks here, maybe more. And if you're in Greenfield District, you must catch hold of the weekend market. It gets quite lively on the weekend. It's got some food stalls, an open dining, and some live music as well. Greenfield District also has a small stretch of bars and restaurants. They're quite cozy and nice to chill out. You get a, quite a good neighborhood vibe in this place. This is beer factory which gets popular and then there are a few at the back and in front. Blackwood has been around for many years. I'm seeing this bar flourish for the last 11 years. Another very good choice is Capital Commons. This is a mixed-use real estate project that offers luxury condominiums, open spaces, a lot of cafes, bars, and it has a, a big mall. Today is All Souls Day and the place is not so busy. Otherwise, uh, this is an upcoming beast in its own right. It redefines the live, work and play concept. Capital Commons also has a mall called as the Estancia Mall. This is a large enough mall broken up into three different sections and offers a very modern, contemporary and a luxurious feel. The complex also has a fourth section which is called as a Unimart which is a huge supermarket. The place offers all the conveniences that you expect in a neighborhood. That's the Unimart which is the supermarket block. Capitolio is an old and quirky neighborhood that still falls under the catchment area of uh, Ortega Center. This neighborhood has gained a reputation for being foodies heaven. What you will find here would be small and interesting eateries by upcoming and creative chefs and you won't find really big brands here. So if you're in Ortega Center and you like to eat different kind of cuisines, Capitolio could be on your list. A Wansi Coffee is a specialty coffee shop tucked in the corner in Capitolio. This is one of those true blue third wave coffee shops. If you're in Capitolio, this is worth checking out and have a coffee. This is St. Patrick's, the local version of an Irish pub. I've been here a few times, it's quite nice actually. I'm at a place called as Lao Taipei. This is a Taiwanese food and has gained a lot of reputation lately. I tried their spicy beef noodles and it's good. If you're in Capitolio, you must come to a place called as Bistro Rooftop by La Blanc. It offers you good views of the Ortega's skyline. And that's with the zoom. And from this bistro, you can also see the skyline of 
one faction global city. That's BGC. While the views are great, the food was underwhelming. The bread is soggy, the cheese is not melted. That's the way it is. And if you're in the Shangri-La place, you must come to a place called as Refinery. You get good European beer on tap. You can get the Japanese Sitachino Nest or good coffee. It's a good place to chill out. Besides being a big CBD, Ortigas Center is also renowned for its shopping malls. There are about six or seven shopping malls, out of which uh, three of them are major ones, which we're gonna show you in this video. I'm starting with Robinson's Galleria. It is a good place and a very big shopping mall and you will get probably all the things that you may need for day-to-day -day shopping. Shangri-La is a very notable development in the Autocus area. They've got one hotel which is the Edsa Shangri-La. They've got four residential towers which are pretty you know tall ones you know but 65 stories each and then they have a big mall the mall has two sections the new one and the old one so this is the central road and on either side of the road you have the mall on the right is uh, the new section which has got more luxury brands and while on the other side is uh, the old section And Shangri-La has a lot to offer for your senses. Grab a highball at the highball bar at Ramen Nagi. Cheers. In front of me is the University of Asia and Pacific, which is bang in the middle of Ortega Center. This university is well known for its management courses and this is on the Pearl Drive which is a quaint and the back alley with an Autica Center. Ortigas offers a variety of accommodation. This one is called as Alexandra. This is a leafy an extremely green society with uh, big size units and a very good choice to stay. This place has an old world elegance to it and there are 11 different buildings within the complex. These are the couple of the residential towers of Shangri-La. There are actually two more here. Autogus offers a good choice for residential condominiums as well as uh, bungalows and landed houses. There's also the western apartments nearby.
This is St. Francis Street where you have the headquarter of San Miguel and also the SM Mega Mall. One side of the Mega Mall opens at Etsa, the other side opens here. And if you're in Ortega Center, one of the biggest malls, attractions and an unavoidable part of Ortega Center is SM Mega Mall. As the name suggests, it's truly a mega mall with more than 500,000 square meter of retail space. It's got three wings. This is uh, the newest one, uh, which is called as the Fashion Hall. This was opened about nine or ten years ago. And then it has another two sections, which is Mega A and Mega B. All put together is 500,000 unadulterated square meters of shopping indulgence. This place is extremely busy and you can see that from the video grabs that you have online. Uh, this section is called as the Mega B. Actually this mall if you really see from a distance is almost one kilometer long. That includes the parking area of course. And there's a lot to do. If you like shopping this is the place to come. I don't unfortunately like shopping, but uh, yeah, I cannot miss this in a video on Ortega Center. Uh, this is Yaki Nico like. It's one of the nearest restaurants to open here and it's always crowded. Look at the line here. So Mega Mall offers a lot of dining options. The size is big, it draws in the crowds and it gets the best restaurant brands in town. Sir RJ, I need to pause Sir RJ. Sir RJ. SM Mega Mall also has a few recreation options like nice cinemas and they have a very big ice skating rink. Guys, uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. It's just a click.